Welcome to the West Coast Songwriters Competition. We are the Palo Alto chapter, and it's another fine edition of the show. We're going to hear from some great performers. Hello, studio audience. Give us a little <laughs> of how do. It is an enormous studio audience. Make some noise, everybody. <laughs> Hello. Hey, there you go. Welcome, one and all. My name is Renee Richardson. And I am Irish Greg, and Renee and I were on the radio for many years here in the Bay Area. We started at Live 105, and then we were at KFOG, and then they decided that we were too old or something to be you on like the radio that. anymore. <laughs> I like to say we were too beautiful. Too beautiful. <laughs> too beautiful and too talented. So we both, we went on our separate ways. We, we, we parted company with radio, and we went on our separate way, r ways, and Renee now works uh, in the nonprofit world, and, and I do various bits and pieces, uh, trying not to be unemployed. But we do, uh, we host a podcast called Renee and Irish Greg's Podcast that tapes once a month at the Hate Street Arts Center in San Francisco. And we kind of, we, we do a lot of the same things that we used to like to do on the radio. We have cool guests, yeah. interesting musicians, artists, all kinds of people, uh, a big crowd, lots of beer and wine. It's a good time. You should come out and see us. Yeah. <laughs> beer and wine. I got an applause <laughs> over here. And we are here today hosting, and we're going to be hearing from some wonderful musicians today. But before we get to that, we must meet our esteemed judges. <laughs> I'm going to introduce all three of you, and then we'd like to know a little bit more about you guys. First off, Tiffany Joy. Welcome, Hello. Tiffany. Hello. Yay, Tiffany Thank Joy. You. And Mackie Reyes. Hello. And Ed Claire. Hey. How are you guys? Good. We're Not great. Bad. Good. No good. Lanes. Good. So, Tiffany, uh, you know the man to your left. I've met him. You met him? <laughs> Once or twice. You guys have a band. Yeah, uh, we have a musical group called Individuo. We're a, a Latin group um, uh -huh. from Colombia and California. Okay. So we recently relocated to the Bay Area, but I grew up here, so I'm home. Ah, and nice. so it's, it's very fun to be back, and um, some of my first experiences writing songs were with the West Coast Songwriters Association, so to be involved in this and back as a judge after many years living abroad, it's very exciting. And, and the name is Individu... Individuo. Individuo. <laughs> you got it. Oh, so Individual, but they're a duo. You got uh, it. Uh, duo. She's a smart one. She's a smart, She's one. A smart one. I'm the good looking one. <laughs> <laughs> She's the smart one, you see. Um, and how long have you guys been playing together? We have been playing for eight years. Okay. About eight years. Eight together. years. And when you play in, are you singing, in, what, do you sing in English? Or? We sing primarily in Spanish, oh. and um, what we as composers, we compose primarily span in Spanish as well. Um, I used to compose in English, and now we've been primarily composing in Spanish. And now that we're back in the Bay Area, we've started doing some English stuff as well. Oh, fantastic. I love that. Fantastico. <laughs> Fantastico. <laughs> oh. Excelente. And Ed, how about you? Tell us, tell us how you came to be a judge here today. Um, uh, mostly just failing upwards. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, um, I've been with West Coast Songwriters for quite a while, both as a um, participant and then the most recently um, as as more. Uh -huh. <laughs> and um, I've worked around the Bay Area with a bunch of artists. Currently, uh, at both most most of the time, I'm composing and producing. Uh -huh. And yeah, and it's just kind of. Um, <laughs> I want to I wanna, I wanna ask you about being a producer. I was I, I started my my career in radio as a producer, and I I wonder what the differences between producing a record are and ah. and producing uh, a bunch of um, people <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> music <laughs> who, who are uncontrollable. Well, pr producers thrown around a lot, like yeah. like crazy. Right. Right? Every everybody with a laptop in their bedroom says, "Oh, I'm a music producer." Yeah. Which, they're not wrong, but um, as far as music production goes, you know, a lot of singer songwriters come to me and they, they, and we've helped flesh out their sound and figure out what their sound is, and then help take them, you know, and, and, and it's a team I work sure. with. Sure. called Focal Productions. Yeah. And um, we help take them to that the best we can in a way that makes them happy. We're, we're, it's no, it's music isn't, and this is to all the artists who are performing today. Music isn't about uh, tailoring your sound so that you'll get liked more. It's now about being completely honest to your influences and to your art, and and that's what we try to do now as producers. We're not trying to like you need to sound like Taylor Swift, you know. Yeah. It's it's now it's now it's about what makes your heart sing as an artist. 
Do you find that people, you said, you know, there's nothing wrong with people making records in their bedroom, and that's more and more Not how people all. are, are making great music. great records. But do you find that yeah. people, the one thing, the thing that's missing from that is the collaborative aspect? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of the times, you know, even, well, it depends on the style. A lot of EDM styles can be done with just one person and a whole bunch of drum machines and synths, but um, that, is, that is one of the elements that's, that's missing a lot. Um, and also, you know, when they should and shouldn't. There are certain things mm. you should and shouldn't do in your bedroom, like record a drum set. Yeah, you might want to take that to the studio. Uh -huh. You might want to <laughs> at least, you know, and, and certain things really need to be done, you know, and, and a lot of people don't know that because so much is happening out of the bedroom. Vocals, yeah, put a mic in the closet. It'll be great. You know, so. I was going to ask Tiffany and Mackie if they get much work done in the bedroom. Uh, <laughs> well, the cool thing about our space is it's all one big space. We got piano, bed, <laughs> desk, so we're good. We're, so you're we're taking always care making of. music together. We're always making beautiful, beautiful music together. Do you find, though, as a couple, is it, you know, you get that Buckingham Knicks thing, the, the tension of, of, uh, of a couple writing mm. songs together? I'll let you answer that question. <laughs> he has a really great answer for this. No, it's, it's challenging <laughs> yeah. sometimes yeah. because we are together 24 hours uh -huh. every day. Sometimes she doesn't like what I say. <laughs> <laughs> so that's challenging. But I think it's a beautiful process. And the more we do it, the more comfortable we feel doing yeah. it. So now I think we're respectful and we are efficient working together. Do you, do you either of you subtly um, vent through your songs? Or maybe it's not so subtle. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's not so subtle. Yeah, yeah. Tiffany's I, like, I no, full on. Yeah, I think it, I think that's you know one thing that's cool. If there's something we are feeling, it often comes out in a yeah. song, and songs can be healing. There's a song on our last album. It's called Somos Dos, which means it's the two of us. Mm. And he actually wrote it for me, and we were in the middle of a, a kind of a spat, or one and only fight, as he always likes Aww. to say, right? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and then we were we went we showed it for rehearsal, and he played the song. And I went, is that for me? <laughs> it's really beautiful, but Aww. I'm still mad at you. You know, it was like, but I think, I think music can be healing too. And that's, I think if it... That's how I survived that fight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so before we get into the performances, just a quick word from each of you of what, uh, you know, some advice, I, I guess, for, for the songwriters tonight. Me? Um, Maybe Sarah. Um, I would just say, um, in, enjoy what you're doing up there. We've all been where you mm -hmm. are and um, we're... Very grateful to be on this side of it, but we know exactly what you're feeling being there. We've all done this, I think, <laughs> a lot. And um, I think the most important thing is just be authentic, enjoy what you're doing, because that's the reason why you're doing it in the first place, right? And we, we love to see that you're loving it. Nice. Very nice. Ah, that was, those were my two words. <laughs> <laughs> You've left him so, speechless. Besides, besides that, I think it's a, it's a matter of not worrying about being liked or being we are already unique so everything mm. that we do it's already unique so enjoy and being honest about music and um and it's it, i've said this at a few competitions it doesn't matter whether we like it or not like they were saying you know it's just it's it's really just about the fact that you're putting it out there that yeah. you're showing it to everybody it's a, that you're already you're a million miles above a whole bunch of other artists, yeah. you know, and so keep doing that. It's, it, it, and I love it all. So I wish we could pick all winners, but, yeah, but yeah. I love it. I love anything. So. Well, thank you, Ed and Tiffany and Mackie. And now let's get the show on the road, as they say. Our first performer is Mick Morrow. Welcome. Yay. I really appreciate the chance to play for you tonight. So this song I'm going to play, it's called If I Kiss You. And... Um, a lot of times when I write songs, I try to imagine feelings that everybody's had at one time in their life. If we don't have them all at the same time, you, you may wait years for that, that opportunity to come, but this kind of focuses in on one type of emotion where you're, you really want to take a chance, you're afraid that you might crash and burn. Um, you hope that you don't. So I want to play this for you tonight. It's called If I Kiss You. on my door like many times before to say everything that's wrong with him will somehow turn out all right what am i waiting for i know the score i can't delay this anymore 
gonna tell you how I feel tonight Or I could just kiss you Tell you how much I love you Would that put your heart on my mind tonight So I don't want to cross that line tonight I'd like to live another day to fight To scream I love you from the highest mountain top Show you a life built for two A place where dreams do come true And this is the part I know by heart If I kiss you, I ain't ever gonna stop This the day, the day I hear you say You see me in a different way The days fly past one by one I could laugh about it, shout about it, some days nearly cry about it. But when will that day ever come? If I really love you, I have to wait to you love me in the same way. This has to be the hardest part for what to say and where to start saying you should be an easy thing to do well this could be me and you and we can make our lives come true this is the part i know by heart if i kiss you i ain't ever gonna stop because i can't be afraid of losing you I need to show you all I am tonight. I want to give you my heart, my hopes, my dreams. I want you to share my life. So let's begin our lives tonight. Our heartbeats tell us this is right. So let's climb up to the highest mountain top. Well, I will always love you and there's nothing we can't do this comes straight from my heart if I kiss you I ain't ever gonna stop when I kiss you I ain't ever gonna stop thank you thank you Bravo, Mick Morrow. Mick, come on over here. We're going to interrogate you. No, we're, we're actually very nice. <laughs> How are you, sir? Good, good, good. That's good. Yeah, That's good. Nice. Say hello to the camera, Mick. Hello. Um, so welcome. How long have you been writing songs and playing music? I've been writing a long time. I uh, wrote a lot when I was young. And about five years ago, I kind of relit the fire. And I've just been writing like crazy for the last five years. So tell me, Mick, is songwriting something that comes easily to you, or is it a very kind of painful, tortured process? <laughs> well, I, I think you can say yes and no. <laughs> First it comes easy, then it gets real painful as you keep trying to make it better. But uh, it's something i got to do. So it's, it's kind of a blessing and a curse at the same, t same time. Lyrics or music first? Um, I do them both at the same time. Uh -huh. Yeah, I gotta get a feeling, kind of fuse the melody to the feeling, and that the words come with it. And and that particular song, "If I Kiss You," the inspiration for that? Um, it's it's just a work of fiction. I mean, it's not like there's anybody in my life I was trying to kiss and got <laughs> shot down. Oh, I don't say that. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's it's kind of like you know, I like I said in the, in the intro, everybody has these feelings. They've been through these experiences, mm -hmm. and so if you can write a song that come give someone that I remember feeling that way, you move them, and ideally they, they like the song. Well, thank you very very much, and best of luck. It was lovely to meet you. Thank. Very much. Thank Give it up, everybody. Mick Morrow from Thank San you, Jose. Mick. This way. And next up, we welcome Michael McNevin. Give it up for Michael, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. Thank you. Can you bring me a cake with a hacksaw in it? Come back in a month. And I'll be sneaking through the bars Hide me in the trunk 
drive me anywhere, baby. And I promise I won't steal your car. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. This tail I'm chasing spins around as fast as I do. Perhaps it would tire. Cold water slow to boil. Watching grass grow takes a while. And that grandfather clock ain't no liar. Time's on your side till your lover says goodbye. Bad habits down to the wire. And when the firehouse is burning, who brings the hose? When the ladder to my hope is on fire. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Big ideas come and go. Light bulbs overhead flicker to the dead or dull. Big fish, little pond, or the bottom of a bowl. Half empty if it was ever full. Neighbors looking in, hey, get a good look at him. All that dirty laundry out to dry. Old salt water so stuck inside a fishbowl. There but for the grace of God go I. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Another hurricane comes. Run for the cellar till the flood water hits the porch. Then it's up to the roof. But the copters and canoes leave you standing on the chimney like before. I've been throwing Hail Marys at every heart I see. It's getting late for a miracle. Poor SOB is soaking wet. One more rope is all you get. Whatever's left, and is it worth another pull? Get me out of here 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 can you bring me a cake with a hacksaw in it come back in a month and I'll be sneaking through the bars Hide me in the trunk, drive me anywhere, baby. And I'll probably steal your car. Thank you. Oh, that is Michael McNevin, everybody. Come on over, Michael. Give it up, everybody. That was wonderful. How are you? Good, good, good. That sounds like uh, it comes from a, a place of the heart, does it? Yeah, most of it's true. Well, most hang on. It's true. So, were you in jail? I, I spent one day in jail in '85 for jumping over turnstile in New Jersey. <laughs> um, that the the character I drew from that, but the character that I was singing about, I would like to say is fiction. Except, you know, you got to tap your yeah. your your heart and your and your experiences. Did you live through Katrina or, or a hurricane? I was in a tornado in Nashville. Um, I, I, that, I wrote Tornado in the, in the rough draft of that song. Um, and then all the hurricanes hit. Mm -hmm. So I changed it to hurricanes. Uh, and it, it has a different meaning now for me to, to sing it that way. I got to uh, go back to what you first said about uh, you were arrested once for jumping. I want to know what the turns. What what were you going uh, to? I was I was <laughs> living in Jersey City and yeah. I was and I was playing the streets in Manhattan, and I would take a path train underneath the Hudson uh, River, from Jersey City to yeah. to Greenwich Village, and everybody was doing it. And the one day I did it, they were collecting people and throwing us into a paddy wagon. Oh. I was going to say we've all done it. Like you just got unlucky. Have we all? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was a good lesson to learn. I was I was 22 years old and I was being stupid and I 
and you're uh, like, I'll never do it again. And I'll break other laws, but not that one. <laughs> yeah. And one day I'll make a good song, right? Yeah. That was wonderful. Oh, it, yeah. Yeah. It is one. It is. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. The thing that worries me is stealing the car oh. once you've gotten out. Yeah, I've never done that. <laughs> And um, uh, uh, that song just, it's just a, it's a guy looking for redemption. Yeah. And he's not quite there yet. Uh, he has made some bad decisions through his life. And I, I can relate to that too. Okay. Well, Michael, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Next, I've been waiting all evening to say his name. <laughs> it's Mike Tatarakis. Very good. I nailed it. Yeah, Please welcome Mike it. Tatarakis, everybody. Hello, everybody. Um, this is one of the oldest songs for me. I wrote it back for my wife before we got married. And then it lingered while I learned how to do different things with the guitar. And this is its current incarnation. It's called The Sweet Sense of Giving. Shining in the darkness It's a light Yes, that light It shines so clear It will show New direction And chase away My heart's only fear You love me For all my tomorrow sense of giving Tell the world we found a way When you have love in your heart and everybody to love you You have everything that you need You love me all my tomorrows are just like you love me today. Let me be that sweet sense of giving. Tell the world we know the way. That spring has come to our loving. Snows, yes, those snows, they're melting away. It will grow a new beginning. And the emptiness inside my heart is blown away. You love me for all my tomorrows. Just like you love me today. Sense of giving. Tell the world we know the way. Do 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 do. Mike Tatarakis. Mike, come on over here. Give it up for Mike one more time, everybody. How's it going? All right, all right. Where do you call home, sir? San Jose. I'm okay. a native Californian. 
And tell us how to pronounce your last name again. It's Tatarakis, <laughs> unless you're Greek, and then it's Tatarakis. Tatarakis. No, that was terrible. You look at me like that was terrible. Well, he's <laughs> Irish, isn't he? I, I am Irish. Okay. Renee, you say it again. Tatarakis. Well, that's pretty oh, good. That works. You said you're a native Californian. Yes. Where were you born? I was born in Fresno. Mm. Yet that song was so happy. I know. Ah, no, I know. I'm just kidding. Well, I have relatives in Bakersfield, so Fresno by default is, you know, happy. No, but I was going to ask. You, this, it does have a very sunny disposition here in music. Yeah, that's uh, one of the happier songs that I've written. Uh, actually, my lyricist is my daughter. This one I wrote oh. myself, but she's been in, she's been writing poetry since she was six, and recently I've got her to write some. That's poetry really for me, cool. So that How works nice. Out. That's works really, out very, very good. nice. Is she uh, musical as well? Not really. Yeah. She was in the marching band in high school. She did percussion. Uh, I don't know if that's musical or not, but she worked hard at it. Well, good. I hope you continue writing songs together. Thank you very much. Mike Tatarakis, good luck today. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. All right. Next up, we have Greg and Alicia. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> This song is called Lend a Hand. She thinks she's not long for this world. Packing her back, seeing her goodbyes. And after all the tears have bled from her body, maybe. She'll find some rest there These days The only freedom she knows Is when she sings But this place Can drown out melodies She's been weighed down by Being everything For everyone else Where is her anchor now She cannot see That she Like the world won't understand and If you think that you're not strong enough For the fight you're facing Sister, I will lend my hand He's grown tired of watching our souls get lost to space age metal and glass. And after all the frustration pours from his body, maybe he'll find some rest there these days. The only joy he knows is when he sings, but sometimes he can't raise his own voice. He's been concerned with looking ahead Now he's looking back But the footsteps he hears are his own He cannot see that he's alright It's a long ride home I know you've been feeling off Not yourself lately Like the world won't understand if you think that you're not strong enough for the fight you're facing, brother, I will end my hand. And if you try, just to close your eyes, you find that light will guide you back to you again. And if you try, just to close your eyes, you find that light will guide you. It's a long ride home And I know you've been feeling off 
not yourself lately like the world won't understand and if you think that you're not strong enough for the fight you're facing you should know that i'll lend my hand and if you try those you've been feeling eyes, not yourself lately like the world won't understand The dynamic duo of Greg and Alicia. Come on over here, you two. That was beautiful, you guys. Yeah. So on the way in today, uh, Renee and I were marveling at a double rainbow as we came to the studio. <laughs> Is this deliberate? <laughs> I brought one for you. <laughs> oh, good. Thank you very and much. Then, Is that from the 80s? Or did you, is that new? It is new, believe the, it or not. The 80s are back. They're back. <laughs> you guys, uh, you're, you're great songwriters. You have uh, beautiful voices and amazing melodies. I'm always in awe of people that can sing uh, the melodies that, the way you guys do, but even more so that that part at the end where you're singing behind each other or you're singing different words, and I would, my mind wouldn't be able to figure Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> one of you is starting a line, and then one of you is singing behind. Am I not making any sense? No. Is it harmony? You just have to concentrate on what you're singing. You're, you're singing and ignore the other person. Yeah, basically. The, the harmony, yeah. yeah. That's that's the, like, 80% of being in a duo is just, ign just being yourself and ign not listening to the other person. Okay. <laughs> how did you How did you first discover that you could harmonize so beautifully together? Because you guys are friends, right? Yeah, I mean, probably when we first started hanging out, we would just, you know, hang out and sing songs. I would hear Alicia singing because she's just, she has a vibrant personality. Uh -huh. She'll just start singing. Like, she'll literally bust out <laughs> in the song. Um, and then I would just, yeah, so I'll just, I'll sing with her. And then that's kind of how we started jamming together. And Well, you have a beautiful sound. Yes. Thank you. Greg and Alicia, thank you. <laughs> Next up, we welcome Mr. Max Newton from Berkeley, California. Welcome, hey, Max. Everybody. Thank you very much. Sounds pretty good so far, huh? Studio audience and judges. How many people out there have ever either run into a broken angel or been one? I've been both. Um, it can be a mess. This is about those broken angels. No real angels were harmed in any way in the writing of this song. I guess one last thing to say is that uh, sincerity is the most important thing, and once you learn how to fake that, you've got it made. Broken angels fall from heaven. That's just what they do. Don't try to catch one It'll bleed all over you An angel blood is poison Burns through bone and skin And leaves a glowing Washing feathers in they Wrap you in their arms and wings And take you to the ground Every pore is open and Drinking in the sound There isn't any part of you Knows how to turn them down When they're falling from heaven on you
and angels fall from heaven That's just what they do But don't make it personal now Cause you know it's got nothing to do with you They're just falling from heaven that's what broken angels do when they're falling from heaven on you. Some will offer diamonds and shining bands of gold. Some will promise passion. Some will come on cold. Some will dangle glory as their broken wings unfold and they're falling from heaven on you. Now you know it's better just to stay out of their way. so beautiful that they turn the night to day cause there's still a little heaven and it's shining in their faces they're falling from heaven falling from Falling from heaven on you. On you. Thank you very much. That is Max Newton, everybody. Max, come Let's on see if over. I can here. make this hang up there, right? <laughs> Good job, Max. That was a beautiful song. Thank you very much. How's it going? I tell you what, put put your oh no, you you put your guitar strap over what I want everybody to see. I don't know if people at home can see what is on um, Max's uh, t-shirt. But it says, what's it say? Yeah, it's the best used by uh, 8 20, 2018. And what's the significance? Well, I have, for anybody who wants to come up afterwards, you can guys, I'm sorry about that, get a close up of this. <laughs> uh, hi there. Um, it's a show at uh, Freight and Salvage. On Shameless plug. On 820, I'll be there with a couple other people. Uh, anybody here know Megan McLaughlin? Yeah. yeah. She'll be there too with her new group, The Musers, and another friend of mine named Michael Patch. Do you make a shirt for every show you have? I have done that, yes. I have. That I'd, usually isn't this one. This is a new idea. Okay, so. okay. And real quick, you, you don't think you're tempting fate by doing this. I don't think so, no. <laughs> Stop that. I think it'll be fun. <laughs> go out and see him at the Freight and Salvage. It's all about broken angels. There you go. Max Thanks. Newton, thank you Thanks, so much. Michael. Next up, <laughs> we welcome Austin Freeman and his buddy Luke is with him singing back up. Luke Thompson. So a little history on this song. Uh, one, we haven't even practiced it in, in about a month. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I met this guy at an open mic, and he comes in, and he's just soaking wet because he'd ridden his bike in the rain with his guitar strapped on his back and uh, to come and play the show. And then he's getting ready to play, and he breaks the string on his guitar, actually. But I heard him sing, and I was like, you know, if I ever get the opportunity, I'm going to do a duet with this guy. And I had a concept for the song already, and I, I got through writing the song, and I was like, mm. Mm. I was like, I think this is the one. And I texted him. I was like, Luke, I know we've only met a couple times, but this is the song we're going to do together, and you're going to like it, and that's it. And so we're going to do this. So it's called Friend of Mine. I'm Ben. In a day goes by, I don't think of your face. And I've been 
And a day goes by, don't feel like I'm losing this race. I don't know how many lives you got to live, but I counted mine. If I'm gonna get all I got to give, I gotta get up and do what's right, and leave me when it's hard. The end told that line. Now, how you gonna know which way to go if you're always looking back? Yeah, when you need me to shoulder the load, you can count on that. I find when we talk, it's a little harder every time. They were the best days of my life, friend of mine. It's telling me to give you a ring, but I ain't got time for that. I don't know how many lives I've got to live, and I've counted mine. It just takes all I got to give just to get up, fight this fight. It's a damn hard just to keep it all the try. How you gonna know which way to go if you're always looking back? Ever you need me to shoulder the load, you can count on that. I find when we talk, it's a little harder every time. They were the best days of my life, friend.
awesome. Oh. That is Austin Freeman and his buddy Luke. Come on over here, gentlemen. That was really, really lovely, you guys. And I get to redeem myself because foolishly earlier I was talking about melody when I meant harmony, and that's why I'm not a singer-songwriter. <laughs> but you guys are. That's really beautiful. But you don't play together that no, we, we do, and, and Luke is a songwriter on his own right. I mean, and a good songwriter, as a matter of fact. I'm encouraging him to join this. Um, but, no, we've, we've played, I mean, we've done this song probably three times live we're going to be doing here's a shameless plug for you we're going to be doing this uh this friday night at gva in morgan hill you should have a t-shirt with that on <laughs> i know right but uh, and, and the really cool news is we're actually doing that with the comp or with greg and alicia okay. as well uh they're joining us for the show they're going to be playing a set and then we're going to do that song together yeah i need to ask you how did you know when you heard him that what made you think that you would sound good together because you, you guys sound great together luck <laughs> really? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I, it was it was way more of like um, fandom from me. Actually, uh -huh. I was I was just he walks in and again, I'm not, I don't mean to keep like bringing this story up. It comes up occasionally, but he walks in and he's like this soaking wet dude, and uh, and he sings a Michael Bublé song, wasn't it? <laughs> And everybody was just like, what? <laughs> you know, like, like no one even wanted to loan him a guitar, you know? And, and then he just like blows the house away. And I was like, wow. And that night I played another song, uh, a song called Let Me Say, and here comes this big wet dude over there. And he, and he looks at me and he just goes, boom, and just bear hugs me. And I was just kind of knowing this number and look at him. And he was like, man, I love that song, man. And I was like, well, great. <laughs> Well, you two are wonderful together. Yeah. So, so continue what you're doing. Yeah, thank, thank you, very, you very so much. much. Thank you, Austin and Luke. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, next up, we welcome Josh Yoon to the stage. Hello. Hi. Um, I wrote this song a few years ago. It's about the end of the world. It's called Last Man. I write you a letter to send to your daughters who care for the wives from an age long ago. The illness of pride spreads all over my lover and seep, seep within all the pills I consume. But the dream never spilled on the top of your body. It splashed all around lodging earth in debris as we sank all alone and died so peacefully. Joyous disciples break in through our windows and robbed us of love and the taste of her sweat. They froze all inside in a capsule of light as we feel our skin with the song we had saved but the youth we had no guided us with the sand they burst with the flavor of blood from her hand as we reached out to claw our way out of this across a gap that set me free from all the emptiness that shook my fears deep inside and tingles my beliefs. I hold on until I am the last man standing in a sea of rotten flesh and bone. And the aliens that come upon this earth will know that We find no beginning in books we had burned. The lies that were sent have been drenched by a boy. He came round to vomit the news he had made as we drove his face 
to the nail on the floor But we find we are lost in a basket of snow We climb up to see who's a friend or a foe As we wind down our clock towards a world I didn't know Whoa That is Josh Yoon. Come on over here, Josh. How's it going? I have so many questions oh, about that song. So many questions. Man, so oh, man. Uh, tell me you've got the darkest sense of humor in the world. Uh, <laughs> um, I guess so. Maybe for tonight. <laughs> well, who do you... What? I, I hate this question because it's kind of an obvious question, but uh, what do you listen to? Who? What? influences you um i listen to a lot of music but uh elliot smith is one of them oh okay uh, jeff, wow jeff makes... mangum um mountain goats okay yeah cool because this when we came in and met you earlier you're not wearing your fancy stanford jacket anymore <laughs> no but you went to stanford what do you do for a living um so i'm a graduate student yeah. and i work for a chemistry professor okay and I basically do biophysics. Okay, because that's just the last kind of song that I would expect out of a, <laughs> a biophysicist. Yeah, it was it was written during a difficult time during my graduate uh, school uh, career. <laughs> and, you know, you don't have any experiments working, and, you know, yeah. your boss is very uh, picky and demanding. And yeah. so, you know, this was my way to vent. Okay. Yeah. I am so glad you have an outlet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad they teach a sense of humor yeah. at, at Stanford. Yeah. That was really, right. really good. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Josh Yoon, everybody. And next, we welcome KJ Smith. Thank you. Thank you. So um, I do want to say this song is definitely not autobiographical. Um, it's called A Stain. It's about two people messing up a whole bunch of people's lives. with me she says to me seductively and I choose to leave I'm in a room smell her perfume I'm guilty the stain is now on game is now home. very next day I'm on my way my family will never be the same reality she sees right through me Sadly, the stain will never The stain will never I beg and I plead But I concede I have no answer for And she slams the door The stain will never Stain the never I leave today. I'll never forget their face Pain and misery Surround this place I'm all alone 
my millstone I should have known the stain the never only stain the never I look at the phone recognize her name find out my lover I suffered the same My last words to her The stain will never leave The stain will never leave The stain will never leave That is K.J. Smith, everybody. K. Come J. on over, K.J. Make your way over here, KJ. Good job, sir. How are you? Wonderful. Good, good, good. We were talking a little bit earlier. Uh, you said that you moved out to California, saw the Pacific Ocean, and that was it? Pretty much. Yeah. I was 21 years old. Um, they told me it was beautiful every day. Yeah. I didn't believe them. Mm -hmm. Two weeks later, I said, oh, why doesn't everybody live here? So uh -huh. um, yeah, I bought a surfboard, um, started working, and... My dad famously told me, well, he'll be out there for six months to uh -huh. experiment, and that was 28 years ago. Okay. So, so, uh, but yeah, this is home, and this beautiful place. I never want to live anywhere else. Good, good, good. Where uh, are you from originally? I grew up in New York City, oh, okay. um, and I went to college in upstate New York, uh, but about the uh, anti-opposite of California. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, as I said, I've been out here... Um, Married for 24, uh, father of three, so you couldn't be happier. Good for you. That was a beautiful song. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you, KJ. KJ Smith, everybody. And now, please welcome Dan Zalis. Zalis. <laughs> Thank you. A lot of great music tonight. Really appreciate being here. Uh, this is a song called I'm Not a Doctor, But I Play One on TV. Feeling down, feeling dirty, feeling kind of slow, feeling like you got nowhere to go. Put down your remote control, surrender to my word. I will show you how to make it better. I got facts, I got figures, I'm the one to trust. I solve people's problems all the time I'm brave, I'm charming Great bedside manners Every Sunday night at 9 o'clock I am not a doctor But I play one on the TV My script is written And I think that you are ready Watching every hour of the weekend You've already plunged into the deep end Feeling fat, feeling lazy, feeling like a slug Feeling like you need some more respect You want it fast and cheap You want expert advice I will show you how to make it better Want muscles, want fiber, want loving care Want to lose that pounding in your head there's no preservatives, ask for it by name. New, improved, so natural. I am not a doctor, but I play one on the TV. My script is written, and I think that you are ready. Watching every hour of the weekend. You've already plunged into the deep end 
I am not a doctor, but I play one on the TV. My script is written, and I think that you are ready. Watching every hour of the weekend, you've already plunged it to the deep end. Let me help. I am your doctor. Facts and figures and itchy triggers, graphs and charts and bumper stickers. Facts and figures and itchy triggers, graphs and charts and bumper stickers. C's and I's and nose and throat help me make my money grow. Ears and eyes and nose and throat help me make my money grow. Bravo. That is Dan Zalas. Come on over. Unplug your guitar there, Dan. And then you're welcome to come on over here. Come and over behind Renee. Come behind. How's it going, Dan? Good, good, good. You, uh, you kind of, you. The song sounds like a punk rock song played by a folk <laughs> singer. Yeah. Well, this uh, I usually do the song in a band. The oh, okay. The outer half. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely a rocker. Mm -hmm. uh, but I like playing here too. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a pretty driving tune yeah. Yeah. yeah with a bit of sense of humor as well that's a bit of a theme tonight huh yeah yeah i mean it's uh you know it's uh, i like songs about technology you know how things media and technology kind of take take over our souls and our brains oh really kind of huh turn us into zombies kind of <laughs> yeah so how that's the kind of theme of that yeah, <laughs> yeah right yeah kind of in reality tv and you know how you just people watch something on tv and they yeah. think it's yeah. real and then they it's a song for our times, essentially. Definitely a song yeah. for our times, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, you bet. Okay. Thank you, Dan. Dan. Right. Dan Zalis. And our final performer in the competition, we welcome Carl John. Hey, Carl. So this is a song that I wrote uh, over the course of a year. Sometimes uh, songs come in a moment, but some... Uh, come over a little period of time until they become true. And I didn't finish the song until uh, it become true to me. Well, I won't play the fool again. Caught up in your eyes So we both know what this road ends You walked in now a thousand times Though we wish that it were not the case The way it is ain't supposed to be We can end this with a warm embrace A rough, familiar tragedy It's when the tears replace the laughter And you're happily ever after And your heart is holding out for one last try Well, sometimes love's a bit of sweet goodbye Trapped inside a memory Of two lost souls still intertwined And though your siren song still tempts me I've grown tired of lullabies Though we wish that it were not the case It is ain't supposed to be We can end this With a warm embrace A rough familiar tragedy It's when the tears replace the laughter And you're happily ever after And your heart is holding out 
for one last try. Sometimes love's a bit of sweet goodbye. Are we holding to the hand we know? Too afraid to be set free. Maybe somewhere down two different roads You find it's where we're meant to be It's when the tears replace the laughter And you're happily ever after And your heart is holding out For one last try Still you have to go your own way In the hopes that maybe someday well, sometimes love's a bit of sweet goodbye. Well, sometimes love's a bit of sweet goodbye. Well, sometimes love's a bit of sweet goodbye. That was Carl John. Come on over here, Carl Very John. Very nice, Carl. Carl John. Carl John, oh, you corrected me on this. So <laughs> CJ, there you go. I can remember <laughs> CJ. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, good. Yeah. That's a sad song, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's sad, but it's also uh, happy because it comes, uh, it's like uh, separating in love, you know? It's uh, love for the other person's experience, love for your own, you know, and this journey together. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. And CJ is newly, a, a new part of the West Coast Songwriters, so you're finding a little bit of family here, are you? I am, I am. There's a, a lot of talented uh, musicians here, a lot of great lyricists, and it's really cool to uh, be able to see them and start to uh, befriend some of them, too. It's really where, cool. where are you from originally? Originally, I'm from uh, the Midwest, Indiana. Yeah. Well, you're very welcome. Yes. CJ, everybody. Yes. Thank you. Well, John, thank you. Thank you. And now it's... Uh, it's going to be a, a tough road for our fine judges. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be walking away and deliberating um, because that was our final performer. But uh, Tiffany and Mackie and Ed, how are you feeling about this? It was great. There was a lot of wonderful performances. I, I loved them all and uh, super fun. As usual, it'll be super hard to choose, but yeah. it's great. We're going to send you guys off uh, to do your judging. And we're going to welcome some... Well, certainly familiar faces to West Coast songwriters, Bev Barnett and Greg Newton. Put it together for them, everybody. Hi. Bev and Greg. Before we get, I want to talk to you for a second, Greg, before we get a tune from you guys. Oh, he's throwing his eyes up to heaven. <laughs> no, no, tell me about uh, when, 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 when did you run into Jim Morrison from The Doors? <laughs> When I was 18, the band I was in opened four shows for the Doors. Wow. What was the name of the band? The Midwest Hydraulic Company. Really? You've heard of them, You've right? You've heard of them, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were a, a very bad Hendrix and Cream cover band. Uh -huh. yeah. And uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> we came out and played 16 minutes for an opening set. And we were in St. Louis playing one time. And in the middle of Light My Fire, my the drummer and I were standing there because we were cool. We were smoking cigarettes. <laughs> And Morrison kind of staggers over, because so we handed him our cigarette. That's the story. That's, oh, wow. good. <laughs> right on. that's better that's than most. That's, that's very as, good. That's as good as it gets. Okay, well now you <laughs> give us some music, please. Yeah. All right. We've driven back and forth to Austin, Texas, more times than than we want to remember. So this song is about coming home to California. Driving fast across the desert So borrow waves goodbye I can feel the heat from my window seat And it kind of makes me high I can see the rain from miles As I fly straight like a bird But you never know where the west wind blows So I've always It's a long way home It's a long way home I'm rolling through the canyon The sun is 
is sinking low I've got stars above and a deep, deep love And it's all I need to know The moon is here to guide me With Venus on the rise I can see its light through the darkest night And it keeps me hypnotized It's a long way It's a long way home And point me to the coast Doesn't matter which road I choose Point me to the coast I got nothing but time to lose Point me to the coast Doesn't matter which road I choose I got nothing but time to lose The morning light is dawning The wind blows through my hair I'm so close to what I've missed the most I can smell the ocean air No matter where I wander I've got to face the fact The salty breeze puts my mind at ease And it always pulls me back It's a long way home It's a long way home It's a long way home It's a long way Thanks very much. All right. Okay. We wrote a uh, we wrote this song many years ago. This is a, an old an older song of ours called "What Makes a Man," and we've played it at uh, at several West Coast songwriters events. Actually, probably about ten years ago or so. So we we thought we'd bring it out for y'all tonight. Silence on the swing Same way that you used to Back when you were only ten Your tears are slowly falling I know he broke your heart My words, they don't come easy But here's the start Tell me what makes up Headed for a life that's full of love lies. Forget the money and the house upon the hill. Forget the fast cars, they won't drive away the chill. Look into his heart far as you can. That's where you find. Big man, you took your childhood fantasies, you packed them all away. Your life was so much simpler back when I was not so gray. I could bandage up your knees and dry your tears before they'd start. I can't stop the ticket time. 
I can't fix your heart. Tell me what makes a man in your eyes. You're headed for a life that's full of lies. Forget the money and the house upon the hill. Forget the fast cars, they won't drive away the and look into his heart far as you can That's where you'll find what makes a man When he offers you the stars Remember, they're not his to sell Listen to my words, darling Ask yourself Headed for a life that's full of lies Forget the money And the house upon the you Forget the fast cars They won't drive away the chew Look into his heart Far as you can that's where you'll find what makes a man. Mm -hmm. That's where you'll find what makes a man. Thank you, Bev Barnett and Greg Newton. Thank yes, another guys. round of applause is great. You can learn more about them through tradewindmusic.com. Thanks, you guys. All right, our judges have been busy back there making some decisions. Greg's getting all the envelopes. You get to make the fun announcements. Oh, really? I thought that should be you. No, no, you. Really? No, okay. you. <laughs> okay, so drum roll, please. So first of all, we're going to do the best performance of the month for West Coast Songwriters Palo Alto chapter. And the winner is Friend O' Mine, Friend O' Mine. And it's awarded to the memory and good standing Austin Freeman. Where are you, Austin? Austin and Luke. Austin, come on up. Good job, sir. Yes, yes. or go in front go or in whatever front. at this point. No, I know, I, was, I screw everything up all the time. So uh, to our judges, can you, can you offer a little insight uh, as to why you chose this, so uh, this uh, song as the performance winner? Yeah, um, I, I mean, I can speak for me that, and well, what we, what we deliberated on is um, your voices just sound great together. It's a fantastic song. I mean, we could only choose for one category, right? But it's a really great song. The hook's fantastic. Um, I, I really recommend you guys keep working together because you sound lovely as a duet. You obviously are songwriters and singers in your own right, but really a beautiful blend and a catchy hook. Good song. Cool. <laughs> Anyone, any, you guys got anything else to add? Um, yeah, good. It was fun to, to listen and it was authentic. I just would love more interaction between you guys a little bit because it feels like you are having a good time, but I could feel it. So that's besides that. Uh, especially during the end of the chorus, I really love that part where, because, you know, there's this moment of anticipation where it's like building up to that last note and you guys mm. really, yeah. by chance or design, that was a really great moment, and you made sure to keep making it happen. It's wonderful. Thank you. It's great. Congratulations. Yeah. Cool. Don't forget to keep this piece of paper. There you are. Thank you. And um, next up, song of the month. I have to say this. Did we put Austin in the wrong place here? I think we did. So now <laughs> I think we're stuck in the wrong place. Let's, should we not? I don't think we should go to the right place, right? <laughs> so we're we'll stay just right stay here. in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, I yeah. think they're meant to say, don't, don't draw attention <laughs> to your mistakes. <laughs> but we've made a lot of them. Okay, so drum roll, please. Yes. <laughs> Renee, I think you should do this. All right. We're looking at the best song of the month for the Palo Alto chapter of the West Coast Songwriters. And the winner is... Bittersweet Goodbye, Carl John. 
Wow, good job, Carl. Congratulations, sir. How about that? So what was it about uh, Carl's song, that Carl John song, that you liked so much? Um, you know, it was j for me, it was just a really great emotional ride. You know, and that's all, that's the, more than anything, that's what I'm looking for uh, above, above most other criteria. It's, it's great. Great song, man. Thank you. Thank you. The same here. I got... Uh, goosebumps, yeah. like they say, and mm -hmm. your performance was very, was very honest. So that was very beautiful. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I thought it was simple and elegant, the song, and um, it really moved me, and that hook is solid. I'm still singing it, so I know if a hook stays with me, that's a good song. Awesome. Thank you so much. Right on. Nice, nice welcome back to the uh, West Coast. Exactly. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Give it up, everybody. And thank you, judges. It wasn't easy, correct? No. Right. You had your work cut out <laughs> yeah. for you? Yeah. We got into a fist fight, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm we had to do the makeup the and get yeah. rid of the bruises. What, kind of, what criteria do you look at, though? I know we spoke a little bit bef beforehand about it, but when you were breaking it down back there. Oh, back there, I, about the same thing. Just uh, how, whether it touched us emotionally. And yeah, I think we were on the same page, pretty much, yeah. which was nice. Yeah. We had similar comments, I think. Um, Music, as you guys know, is just really energetic. So whatever people are giving, whether it be emotional or you know, high energy or high voltage, you can feel that as an as an audience member. And I think you're obviously affected by that when you're having to judge and choose what songs stand out um, above others. There's it's it's funny when you're hearing some of these songs, you can you can hear where where people start to lose. You can actually visualize when people start to lose track if you look out in the audience. Mm -hmm. Or there are a few times in, in, in our circle where I notice we all kind of just, okay, mm -hmm. now's a good time for us to start mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where kind of where it got kind of like where you're not keeping your interest, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? And these were all great songs, but those those moments happen to even the great greatest songwriters. And, yeah. and if there's as few of those as possible, then that's a, that's a great thing, you know? Yeah. Exactly. There's also sorry. There's also a technical component that it's a, if you are all these emotions, but if you are playing the wrong chord or singing out of tune, yeah. those emotions are not coming. So mm. also, of course, the technical component is on the table. But it's yeah. it's also hard being in a uh, you know uh, being in a competition setting, uh, mm -hmm. uh, right? Yeah. Oh in yeah. A competitive setting. Yeah, you never know what each judge is looking for. Yes. You never yeah. know what their background is, what they're looking, you know, what their what, what their per annoyances are. You yeah. Know. Yes. Well, uh, thank you very much, uh, you guys, and thank you all for coming. Yeah. I think we've got time, perhaps, for one more tune. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Special, special bonus. I think Woo! people have decided they'd rather hear music than us talk. So. Before we get to Bev and Greg, real quickly, I just want to say thank, thank you, you to you guys. You've been amazing. So mm. Tiffany, Mackie, and Ed, we appreciate you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you, Renee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, let's Another tune. Greg and Bab. Put my feet back on the ground When the day's not going right I remember every day comes after every night When I think I've had enough I think it's just too much I just let that clock go round Every, Every day's back in town But it's got me on the run Somehow I, I can't find, find the sun I just shake off all those blues We see that a light coming shining through I just look, look up in, in the, the sky, sky. I don't need, need a reason, reason why. why I can lose that whole look down Every day is back in town It just takes a moment To turn the dark to light This could be that moment Stand right up there shining bright Every day when those dark clouds follow me every day And I think I just can't breathe every day I remember some sweet song And that old song keeps those clouds alive 
along every day I can see just what I've got every day Instead of crying what it's not every day I ain't got no need to frown Cause every day's back in town Every day Just take some moment to turn the dark to light. This could be that moment. Stand right up there, shining bright every day. When those dark clouds follow me every day, and I think I just can't breathe every day. I remember. Every day is back in town.